So moving on to our next assignment, we just finished our logo design project. We just did our midterm critique. So our next unit module is pretty fun because we're going to start combining vector, vector skills with uh, raster imaging skills. And you're going to start doing your own imagery instead of just compositing from found imagery, right? So we have what's called a full color spot illustration assignment. Illustration is my background. This is the project that's most closely resembles what I do professionally most of the time. About 70% of my work is doing color spot illustrations for clients. That can be things like book illustration, sticker illustration, uh, t-shirt designs I do a lot of. And there's steps to this. So the steps are generally you do a sketch, you do clean line work, and we're going to see two different ways to digitally ink. To digitally ink in raster means in high resolution you use the tools in Photoshop or in PhotoP to ink smoothly the outlines. Or you can ink in Illustrator, and I'm going to show you that as well, to get clean vector line art, which in some ways is better and in some ways is more limiting. And then we're going to add color to it. We're going to color using digital coloring techniques that are all raster behind the line art. And then those lines can even get replaced with something called color holds with color. So to do this, we're going to look at past examples. There are going to be all the YouTube tutorial videos. And this is assignment five. The trick is, I'm not just saying illustrate anything you want. I'm saying there's a theme. And like our last logo project had an experiential learning, it's going to get used on campus. This is a service learning project, and the theme is given to us by the president's office, and it's for the second grade classrooms within Judson School District. And it's going to be illustrations for a coloring book, and the coloring book theme is a welcome to the campus. It's called Welcome to the Nest. So here are some past examples. So the work that's going to be of service that you do is actually going to be your clean line art. That's going to be what's used in the coloring book and distributed to second grade classrooms. And when they come on campus, they'll get it as well. But then you're also going to do your own digital coloring version of it. So here's the clean inking and then the, the digital color. You need all three aspects to get full credit. And then if we have time, we're going to learn about some special effects, color separation effects. If we don't have time here, we'll have time on the next project when we design type that goes with our spot illustration. And then we put it all together into a poster. So lots to do. Because what I need you to do by next class is to start sketching and have an idea for your illustration, right? So this Past student example, the theme was sleep, and we were working on a camp cross-campus campaign supporting students getting better sleep, right? So this was the sketch, this became the clean line art, and this was the digital color. Our theme is Welcome to the Nest, the coloring book. And I've already uh, sketched the cover. We can see all these like real life examples we'll look at in class next. But this was what I worked with with the president's office to get approved. This is what the book will look like. And then these in red are the illustrations we still need because this is a, a two semester project, right? So you can see some of the, the clean vector line art that's been done. We still need a cartoon map image of the wellness center and campus green. We still need a cartoon map image of the academic building on campus, the old academic building. We need a cartoon map image of the old science building. We need a cartoon map image of the Cape building. And we need a cartoon map image of the new STEM building, which isn't finished being built yet. So I asked the architects to give me a finished render. And it actually is looking just like this. So this is a good reference to, to use. You'll see some past student examples. 
that have also illustrated this kind of treasure map that's in the center of this coloring book. The spot illustration should represent your personality, your tastes, right? And should also work well for a coloring book. So leave lots of spaces in order to be colored. So it shouldn't be like heavily inked and shaded. But here we have the student commons building and the fine arts and fountain building. They're already complete. We still need one of the impact theater. And there are not only buildings that you get to do for your spot illustration as your options. You're each going to pick one of these options. But there are nine of them, and there are nine of you, so no one's going to do the same one. We need an image of Nico standing and gesturing to the upper right, which would be Nico's right wing, to accompany the map in the bottom right corner. So that's what that looks like. There's the Nico gesturing up to this treasure map, which will have all of these different building illustrations. right? And I'll put all those together. And then we need one of Nico collecting together his decorative eggs from the campus egg hunt. So my, my little sketch of that was this, but you can interpret that any way you like. You also get to redesign Nico any way you like, right? Mascots can have that flexibility. They're not like logos. So we have a few versions of Nico already, like Nico Explorer version, Nico sitting in the chair version and Nico in the lake version. So add your own. We want like the different perspectives to be shown in this coloring book. And then probably the most important illustration, at least in terms of what the president wants, I think is a, is a good one, but it's one with some nuance and some requirements. So it's Nico in graduation robes and a hat, so a, a mortar board graduation cap, with a graduation be banner behind and posing for a picture with a blank dotted line silhouette that the silhouette also has a graduation hat or a mortar board. To give you an idea of that, I sketched it out. Yeah, so this is like a little coloring activity book for second graders. And the whole point is that you want them to draw themselves in there or picture themselves there, right? So graduating from an LC with Nico. And so it doesn't need to be that complicated. But what you'll notice about all of these is these are not rectangular full page illustrations. These are floating. And that's what's, uh, why it's called a spot illustration. The shape of it, like a sticker, like a t-shirt design matters. So you want that shape, that outside shape to be dynamic and interesting. So Nico here doesn't need to have legs. The person here doesn't need to have legs. It's probably better if they don't, right? From like the torso up is a more interesting shape. And you can make that wavy, you can decide. And you can definitely use my sketches to help with your selections. And I'm doing the cover. That's just gonna be my demo. And because we have so many buildings, I have not digitally inked this yet. This is my sketch for the, the campus on the cover. So I will show, that will be my spot illustration demonstration. Last semester, and you can see the videos from last semester, I did my version of Nico for the cover and digitally inked and colored that. So what I need you guys to do is very quickly, in five minutes, we need to pick the options. So I want you to raise your hand if you have a strong preference. One, two, three, four. Remember your number. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's do it. So number one, what is your preference? Now, there are nine of us. There are nine illustrations needed. I'm hoping they can all be done and done well by the end of the semester so that I don't have to do them, right? <laughs> so option eight, we're going to put Jamie. Between those three. I was like, no, you're getting nine. Now, it, it's funny. Though this is our service learning, you're not getting paid for this like you are for the mural. But it will be used and kind of used in a cooler way for second graders. Yeah, I will make sure everyone gets copies, but it's gonna be a while before they print okay. them. But all right. They they should just make a ton of them. So okay. it's with our Adopt a School initiative. Okay, number three, I think it was Marissa. Uh, I guess everybody wanted to eat. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good I <laughs> 
Seven. <laughs> you know what? You guys can do more than one, right? But we have to have we have to have the needs covered first. Because I know some of you already have backgrounds in doing kind of character spot illustrations and things, and you like doing that. Now, what I kind of like about all the buildings, and I pushed back hard on doing a campus map. That's a hard thing to do as a coloring book. Yeah. So it's not going to be. I know. But they but, but they were thinking, like the treasure mapping, at like kids menus and things like yeah. that, and they wanted. And it's cute. We're going to put little like Nico feet walking through it. So it's going to uh, match the tour that they get of the campus. That's cute. So we're going to make it good. But it should be fun. So we're not looking for technical illustrations of buildings. We're looking for something that just kind of captures what can be fun about the building. And it includes wildlife and plants and clouds. You know, whatever you want. Whatever would make an interesting shape. But why this feels like an experiential task more than a service learning one is this is actually what the job is right you never get to get paid and printed for the imagery you really love to make yeah it takes a while to do that so it is things like make a building cool <laughs> and i had to do that with like uh, sports drinks when i first started like make the sports drink theme cool and... i know i know but it gets you to explore the campus too and you can see them safely from outside. And I'll, I'll share with you next class, I had to do this for PR when I first came uh, to NLC. I did a whole cartoon map. So anyway, it's doable and it can be fun. OK, so we go to the next option. And Hyde, I think it was you. What do you think? Do you want to do the new STEM building? It's, it's the most complex, interesting building. It's got a lot of angles and edges. We're spending $4 million on it. <laughs> uh, like that, that's the entire building right there? Or is it no, that is the entire building. This just edges off into flat. But it's the only one that is harder to see on campus. So if you wanted to be able to go from photo reference, I'd choose that one. The Cape building's the most basic building, but all of them have some interesting features. But I can tell you, Cape's just right next to the library. So academic that building right No, the academic, that's the wellness center. The academic building is on the other side of the library. It goes around the campus green. I remember last semester, I was 30 minutes late to class, and I went to the academic building. I remember I thought it Yeah. I'd say the coolest one with the most variety is probably the wellness center with the campus green. Because yeah. that's where the gym is with all the glass. So I'll just take volunteers. Who wants that one? All right. All right, so now we've got all of our assignments. Nico in the graduation robes is going to be illustrated by Nina. Nico collecting decorative eggs for the campus egg hunt will be by Jamie. Nico standing and gesturing to the upper left to accompany the map in the bottom right-hand corner is going to be by Marissa. The Impact Theater building for the cartoon map will be illustrated by Felicity. The new STEM building, which we have photo reference of, it's being built, but it probably won't be fully unobstructed in view in time. But this is by the architects. This is the newest model of it. Will be done by Sammy. The Cape building will be done by Noemi. The old science building will be done by Hyde. The academic building by Samantha. And the wellness center and campus green will be done by Rhiannon. And that will be all of them. And you can always look at my sketches to get a sense of how they're meant to work within the book and within the overall arrangement. This is going to be the height of the coloring books, the height and width. Very good.